Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at creating a Magic 8 Ball game using obviously a micro bit. So, what we're going to do is on start, we are going to have a basic show string. So, I'm just going to put magic 8, and all this will do is on, when the program launches, it'll just say magic 8. Now, what we want is the ability to shake the micro bit, and then it gives us some form of outcome. Now the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on input and then on shake and what we actually wanted to do is generate a random number for us. Now if I go to my variable and I'm going to click on make a variable and I'm going to call this something like number and then click OK. Now it doesn't really matter what I call that variable, but I've got mine now as number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my number to zero. So I'm going to click, hold, drag, and drop this in. Now I don't want it to be just a number zero all the time. What I wanted to do is generate a number between zero and say three, because I want to have four conditions. And with obviously anything to do with computing, we always start counting at zero and work up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my math library and then I'm going to look for my random number which is here. Pick random from 0 to 10. Now if I click, hold, drag and drop that in, you can see now at the moment I've got pick random 0 to 10. Now I'm going to change this 10 to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do three different conditions. Now in order to pick the condition, we need to do an if statement, because we need to say if the number is 0, do something, if it's 1, do something else, if it's 2, do something else. Now the way we do that is we use our logic, and I'm going to use this block here, which is if, then, and else, and I'm going to click, hold, drag, and put it in. Now once we've done that, we need to look then at this condition, so at the moment it says if true. Now I need to change this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the logic again and I'm going to get my comparison option here. Again I'm going to click, hold, drag and drop it in. Now what I need is this number here to disappear and I need a variable in here, this number one here. So I need this to say number and what I need it to say is equal to zero. Then we're going to say something. So the way we do that is if I click my variables here choose my number, hold, drag and drop. So I've got if number is equal to zero, then I'm going to go to basic and then we're going to go to show string. So my first condition is going to be yes. So my first output sorry, is going to be yes. Now we need to add another one. So I'm going to click on the plus. So we need to say if the number is equal to one, then we need another statement here. And we do this in the same way. If I click on the logic, click on the comparison, drag it in, go to variables, click my number, drag it in here. So if the number is equal to, and what I'm going to do is say 1, I'm going to say then, and we're going to put something in here. So if I click on basic, show string, and then this is yes, and then this one's going to say no. So we need to add one more in, because we've got one for zero, we've got one for one, so we need to do one for two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to quickly copy this. Now if I highlight and hover over at the moment, you can see this block here is highlighted in white. So if I right click and go to duplicate, this then duplicates the whole segment there. And what I can do is I can click it in here. Now I need to change this condition here, so I need to say if it's number two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another show string in. And then this time we're going to say maybe. And then the last one, if it's not 0 and not 1 and not 2, it's got to be 3. So I don't need to do another else if, I just need to put this in the else. So if I click on basic, show string, and then what we're going to do is say go for it. Now if you want to test this out, if I hover over the emulator for a second and we're going to click on the shake after this now has produced the initial welcome it's now going to say obviously whatever numbers come so it said then no so it's obviously the random number was 1 which then has triggered this if I shake it again 
to come up now with maybe, which obviously then has thought of number two has been around them. If we shake it again, it's come up with yes, which obviously shows it's come up with number zero or zero as the random. So that's how you'd make a magic eight ball using a micro bit. If you've got any comments, please post them below.